Hey there, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs, and today I'm going to show you another stitch combination that creates this really pretty lacy, lightweight fabric that you can use for blankets, scarves, uh, rectangular wraps, anything you can imagine. This is the, what the front looks like. And if we flip it over, this is the back. And for some reason, every time I turn these on their side, I seem to think that they're even prettier sideways. So if this was like a rectangular wrap going across your back, this would be beautiful. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below which direction you think it looks the best. Okay, so for today's pattern, I used Terran Simply Soft in the ombre. And it is gold ombre has almost a fall Halloween vibe to it. And I used an H five millimeter crochet hook, but you can use any size yarn that you wish for this project. Just, I would recommend using whatever size hook is listed on your package label to go with that yarn. All the written instructions will be in the description box below along with a list of the products that I used. So let's get started. For this pattern, you need a starting chain with a multiple of six and plus four. For the example, we're just going to do a small little swatch. So we're going to chain 16 and then add four for 22. For row one, we're going to work into the sixth stitch from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Work into this one. We're going to double crochet. Chain one. So this is going to count as a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Skip one chain. In the next chain, we're going to double crochet. Chain one. Skip one chain. Double crochet in the next chain. Chain one. And we'll repeat this process the whole way down. If at any time I'm going too fast or too slow, the instructions to speed up or slow down a video are also in the description box below. And for this last stitch, we are going to skip the second to the last chain, and in the very last chain we're going to work one double crochet. Here is row one. Let's begin row two. For row two, we're going to chain four, turn our work, and for this row, we're just going to, this counts as a double crochet chain one, we're going to skip the chain one space and double crochet in each of the double crochets across with a chain one after. So for instance, double crochet, chain one, we're going to skip the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet, chain one, and we'll continue that the entire way down. Skip the chain one space, 
double crochet, chain one, Okay, and for this last set of chains down here, we're going to skip the first chain and double crochet into the second chain. Here's row two. Okay, so with row three, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. You're going to chain three, turn your work, you're going to skip this chain one space and double crochet in this chain one space. Now we're going to be wrapping our stitches around this post. So we start out with a chain three and we're going to be working around this post. So we need three double crochets around it. So what you need to do is yarn over insert your hook around the post, yarn over, and complete your double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook around the post, draw up a loop, finish your double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, draw up a loop, finish your double crochet, and now what we did is we crocheted a square around that post. Let's try that again. Okay, so from here, you would skip this chain one space, double crochet in this stitch here, We're going to skip this chain one space and double crochet into this one. So this will be the post that we're going to double crochet around, just like we did here. Chain three to start. Now we're going to work three double crochets around this post. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, finish your double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post, finish your double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, finish your double crochet. So we have two squares made. We're going to skip this stitch, skip the chain one space, and double crochet in this stitch. So for the last set, skip this chain one space, skip this stitch, and in this chain one space we're going to double crochet, and this will be our post that we will crochet around. Chain three. Now three double crochets around this post. For the last stitch of this row, we're going to skip this stitch, skip the chain one space, and put a double crochet in the third chain of the turning chain. And you'd continue that the entire way across your project. That's the end of row three. For row four, we're going to chain five, three, four, five, turn our work, and for this one, these are the chain three, three double crochets, and the chain three that we started with. So the stitch, we're going to do a single crochet in the third chain, this top corner here, not any of these double crochets, the chain three, top of the chain three, 
right here, just a single crochet. So that is going to count as a double crochet and a chain two. From here, we need to chain two and double crochet in this double crochet right here in this stitch that runs in the middle, the post that we created in the middle of the squares. Chain two. Okay, we're going to find that third turning chain again. The top corner, we're going to single crochet. Chain two. We're going to skip everything else. We're just going to work into this double crochet. One double crochet. Chain two. Top of the chain three, single crochet. Chain two. And for the last stitch, we're going to double crochet in the top of this chain three right here to finish it off. Okay, so what we did is we created a flat line across the top of these squares so that we can continue working these open sections down below. For row five, we're going to chain four, turn our work, A chain four is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. So our first double crochet, we're going to create these rows again, is going to go into this chain two space, this first chain two space. chain one. We're going to skip the single crochet. We're going to work another double crochet into this chain two space. Chain one. And then our next stitch will go into the double crochet post right here. Chain one. And we'll repeat that. Chain two space, chain two space, post. Chain two space, chain two space, post. The entire way across, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and chain two space, chain one, double crochet in this stitch, chain one, double crochet in the chain two space, chain one. Another double crochet in the chain two space, or the next chain two space, sorry. Chain one, and then the third chain right here from the bottom. We will double crochet to end this row. And now we've restarted our open section from the bottom. For row six, chain four. You skip this first chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, and you continue that pattern across, For this last one, you skip one chain and double crochet in the second chain. And that's it for your pattern. You're just going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five over and over again. You're, you're always going to have two rows of this open stitch here, one row of the squares, and then one row to level them out. So I really hope you enjoyed this very short stitch tutorial and you get a chance to make something with this. I'd love to see what you make.
If you have other ideas on what you could make with this stitch pattern, you could leave those in the comments below for others as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.